welcome to this weekly horoscope for the 30th to the 6th of February 2020. The week starts on moon day 6 with the moon being in Aries in waxing crescent phase. The moon leaves Aries at 12.20am UTC time which is universal time on the 1st of February. When the moon is in waxing crescent phase it is a good time to set your intentions for change. Write down your hopes and dreams and all the steps you need to take to reach your goals. While the moon is in Aries, it's a good time to leave all your problems behind, which is easier said than done, I know, but if you resist the urge to be impulsive, especially with your words and actions, you will receive great rewards in the form of feeling more at ease with yourself and emotions. There will be a lot of aggressive or stressful energy displayed in your environment on these days. Try and avoid situations that bring you down and test your wits. Patience is key on these days, so is having a clear mind. So limit the number of toxic substances and relationships you partake in while the moon is in Aries. Overindulgence may lead you to forget important facts or details, which will negatively impact your education, business or any other dealings. You may not be able to control others in your environment who may come at you, you with harsh words or actions, but you can control how you respond to them. Aries is a cardinal fire sign, so during this period, individuals may try to force their views on you. Try and keep it cool, keep calm, and instead try and deal with conflict you feel internally. Some of you will have great gut feelings during this period. Make sure you write down any intuitive guidance that you get. Although it may not seem so at the time, your inner musings will lead you to the right solutions to any problems you may be facing in your life at the moment. Also be careful while driving and handling sharp objects during moon day 6 to 8, by the 30th of January to the 1st of February 2020. If you feel... If you try and think before you act, you will enjoy good communications with others. Those of you who work in the service or scientific industries may experience breakthroughs on projects you are involved in. Others of you may get promoted at work, especially if you respond quickly, yet logically, and are resourceful during this period. If you have to pitch an idea to others, make sure you are prepared and you will impress them with your presentations. On the romantic front, those of you in relationships may experience passionate liaisons with your loved ones, and for those of you who are single, you may meet someone who lights your internal fires in more ways than one. You may decide to break away from your normal routine, and this will be good for your mind, body and soul. Maybe a trip to the countryside, I know it's cold but you could wrap up warm. Listening to the sounds of nature in your home or going out, listening to them. Maybe try some meditation, you know, getting in tune with your internal rhythms. All of these activities will brighten up your mood. Anything else that floats your boat, you know, partake in it because it's all about you trying to stay calm while the moon is in Aries. During the 1st to the 3rd of February... At 11.29am Universal Time, the moon will be in Taurus. This is a good time for those involved in investments or any other financial career, as you may receive dividends from your holdings. This is also a favourable period for those thinking about investing in real estate to secure their future. Those of you with strong Taurus energy in your natal chart will find yourself feeling more internally stable than normal. You will experience great rewards if you tune into the more sensual and artistic side of your nature during this period. Resist the urge to be overly lazy. Yes, balance is needed as well as rest, but do not take your eye off the ball too much. But do take time out to treat yourself, yet don't throw caution entirely to the wind. Take extra precautions in the cold weather. Try to be mindful of your thoughts as they will impact your reality during this period. For those of you with a nervous disposition, try and take time to still your mind. The moon moves the moon moves into watching gibberous phase on the second of February. This is a good period for a new start. If you allow yourself to tap into your inner reserves, your powers of manifestation will be revealed to you. 
giving you a spring in your step as you tap into your vital life force energy. For those of you having medical operations, make sure you take the time to heal properly. Trust your gut. If it tells you to put off any procedure, do so, as the rejuvenation period is slowed down during this phase. Be watchful in how you communicate with your colleagues at work, especially on moon days 8 to 10 the 2nd to the 4th of February, as these interactions may cause you tension, may cause you tension and stress. Try not to overact to anything you see as wrong. Also make sure anything you initiate on these days are well thought through, as hasty action will even make, you know, even detailed plans go astray. So make sure you plan everything to a T and stay focused. On the 3rd of February at 11.29am, the moon will move into Gemini and remain there until the 5th of February at 3 minutes past 7pm, moon days 9 to 12. You will be infused with ideas from the influences of Mercury and Gemini. Remember to concentrate and remain patient as you will have the urge to act quickly, but this will only cause problems slow down. You'll get guidance, you know, Mercury, Gemini, fast moving, planets evolve with more forms of communication. So some of you may start a book, you may start a blog. Others of you may receive a windfall of cash that will help you out of a tight spot. If you are involved in exchange, if you are involved in currency exchange or securities, now is a favourable period for returns. Those of you working on the Masters, PhD or any other study will make good progress. Try and focus and resist the urge to flitter from one task to another. Now is the time to stay focused and make clear plans. Rome was not built in one day, nor will all your worries be solved in one day. If you rush, you may fail. Slow and steady will lead you to your high ambitions. Remember just to plan, you know, you may feel the urge to rush ahead. We have five planets in Capricorn that is, yes, telling us to focus on our earthly conditions to better our environments, our finances, our mind, our body, our souls, but do it in practical ways, in grounded ways, not chasing elusive highs or, you know, going quickly um fast into transformation and then three days later we give up change at all if you take slow step to change you will get there eventually for you gardeners out there when the moon is in aries it's a good time to sprout seeds and harvest your crops also pay attention to weeds and insects in your garden and remove them when the moon is in Taurus, it is a good time to manipulate and transplant crops as anything planted in this period will bring you a bountiful crop. Now is the time to plant leaf now is the time to plant leafy and root vegetables. The moon is in Gemini the third to the fifth of February. It is a good day for all living things, sowing melons, squashes, peppers, tomato seeds, in fact planting any type of seedy vegetables and fruits will bring the greatest rewards. The moon moves into Cancer on the 5th of February, but I will go into this more in next, week, in next week's horoscope. Be mindful of your emotions and how you respond to conflict in your environment during the 5th to the 6th of February. Mars remains in Sagittarius all week. Some of you will be called to seek in a new adventure. For those of you who are single, you may meet a new partner in your daily commute. Saturn, the South Node, Pallas, Jupiter and Pluto or remain in Capricorn, providing the grounding energy you need to realise your plans, as I said earlier. Those of you who are spiritually inclined will be driven to seek higher meaning in life. Be watchful of becoming obsessive in your thinking, especially on thinking about education, finance or romantic matters. Start the work to transform your life and seek support if need be to let go of any dogmatic beliefs or situations or anything that's repressing you. Now is the time to start to do the work of letting go of your past and anything that is holding you back from experiencing the fullness of life. Some of you may experience resistance from an authority figure. You may get a speeding ticket or some other fine. Unfortunate things happen in life. Put it down to a lesson learned and move on. Do not feel victimised or seek blame. The sun remains in Aquarius for the whole period. 
unpredictable events may occur. You may receive flashes of intuition, especially in the realms of law, philosophy, religion and spirituality. Original and new are the words while the sun is in Aquarius. You may find yourself rebelling against tradition, the status quo, delving into the unknown territories of the metaphysical realms. Some of you may commit to charitable pursuits. Some of you may be looking, seeking freedom from all the chains that are holding you back in your life. Venus and Neptune remain in Pisces, so be watchful of any addictive thoughts, relationships or substances. And um, on the ending note, some of you will experience transcendental experiences during lovemaking. Some of you may delve into tantric lovemaking. Some of you who are single may form a new kind of bond of connection of love within your own being you know you may take time out to nurture yourself and make sure all your needs are met thank you for um watching this listening to this take care and i'll be back next week bye bye